Uh, hello viewers and welcome to my channel uh, and today's topic is uh, a short stage and uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition and uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, alternatively you can click the link in the description area which is just below this video you know so it will lead you to the uh, website you know and you can find the information there and if you wish to subscribe this channel you can click the red subscribe button just below this video uh, and please do not forget to uh, click that uh, bell icon there you know so what does mean that once i upload the video you will be notified so you can watch the video you know now I come to the topic uh, what is short stretch you know it is a uh, uh, a general term uh, for the people whose height is considerably below average uh, compared to the height of their peers you know and when it can apply it to adults uh, the term is more commonly used uh, to refer uh, it's more commonly used for the uh, children you know and uh, adult can be uh, significantly shorter than their friends and still be perfectly healthy you know and uh, this is uh, particularly uh, true if both parents are also shorter than the average and uh, genetic uh, uh, genetics uh, uh, is a major uh, determinant of uh, uh, height you know but the short stature on the uh, can indicate an underlying medical condition or medical problem you know and in these cases uh, many children can grow uh, to normal height with proper treatment you know and for others the short stretch may be permanent you know and uh, your child's doctor will measure uh, the child's height and then refer to uh, a growth chart you know and this chart uh, shows the average height of the other children of the same age and the same sex you know and based on the guidelines set by the american association of clinical endocrinologists you know uh, the doctors consider uh, a, a child to be short stature if uh, their height falls uh, within the lowest two percent uh, of uh, uh, th that age group you know so then what are the causes you know there are three major causes or the three major reasons uh, for the short stature uh, are the constitutional growth delay genetics and uh, a disease you know so these are the three major reasons number one is constitutional growth delay number two is genetics and number three is disease you know now you need to know what is a constitutional growth delay you know, you know some children simply develop uh, later than others you know and uh, these children are often referred to as late bloomers you know so these uh, kids are small for their age and uh, often enter uh, probably later you know uh, but they will continue to grow after their friends have stopped you know and they usually catch up by adulthood you know so they are known as constitutional growth delay you know the second reason is genetics you know uh, you know if one or both parents are short um, there is a strong possibility that their child will also be short and uh, if there is no underlying medical reasons why either parent is short you know the child's short stature may be perfectly healthy you know and uh, the third thing is the disease you know you know a number of diseases may cause usually short stature and these uh, diseases fall into several categories you know so they may include like endocrine disease right maybe chronic disease that can uh, also decrease the height through their uh, uh, effects on overall health you know and the examples are like chronic diseases uh, heart diseases asthma or inflammatory bowel syndrome diseases you know are diabetes or kidney problems or maybe a sickle cell anemia you know uh, juvenile arthritis you know and genetic conditions that can affect uh, uh, the height include like down syndrome turner syndrome and williams syndrome you know 
and bone and the skeletal diseases such as records they may change the stretch through their effects on the bone growth you know and the problems during the pregnancy can affect uh, the height of the child and the malnutrition uh, can also lead to the short stretch and the growth problems caused by the malnutrition are uncommon in the United States you know but they are common very common in developing world you know or underdeveloped countries you know where the poverty is too much you know now you know only a doctor can determine whether your child's uh, short stretch uh, has a medical cause you know and uh, this process takes time and that's why it's very important to have regular checkups with the family doctor or the pediatrician you know and you can uh, monitor your child's height and overall health at home you know and some questions to ask uh, uh, yourself are like number one uh, is my child significantly shorter than the classmates who are uh, the same age and the gender you know and uh, uh, has my child's growth started to decrease you know or maybe uh, does last year's clothing still fit uh, my child's uh, comfortably you know and uh, like uh, is my child uh, frequently tired you know and uh, if the answers are yes uh, then you should consult your doctor for further evaluation you know uh, well the next question is how do the doctors diagnose uh, that uh, to diagnose the cause you know you know your doctor will measure the height weight and uh, the limb length you know and uh, your doctor will also ask uh, about your families and the child's medical history you know uh, questions about uh, uh, you should be prepared to answer they may include like uh, uh, what is the average height of the past and current relatives you know or uh, do you have any history of the disease or when did the puberty start for both partners you know the parents you know and uh, how was your child's birth? Uh, are there any uh, patterns in the child's growth, you know? Or uh, child's normal diet, you know? So just to know that uh, it's not mal malnutrition, you know? And uh, any other symptoms? So you should be prepared to answer these questions, you know? And uh, then your doctor will order the few tests like x-rays, uh, uh, of the growth plates you know in the left hand uh, to check that your child's growth corresponds to their age you know okay and the screening uh, complete blood count DNA testing uh, to see uh, Turner syndrome or in the girls and the genetic diseases you know blood tests uh, for the thyroid liver and uh, kidneys you know and the imaging scans to look uh, for the tumors you know so these are the tests which will be uh, performed to uh, find any underlying cause you know and uh, then what are the treatment options you know once diagnosed uh, the treatment depends on the cause and uh, the thyroid hormone replacement can be used to treat hypothyroidism you know and uh, growth hormone injections can be treated and a number of conditions you know including like uh, Turner syndrome and chronic kidney failure you know. and uh, so the hypothyroidism can be treated with the hormones uh, with the growth hormones uh, uh, I mean uh, can be treated GHT you know and uh, other conditions like Turner syndrome and chronic kidney failure can also be treated you know and uh, not all uh, uh, the kids who are suffering from the short stretch they need treatment you know and the, for the children who are naturally short no treatment is necessary you know but it can be challenging if a child is dealing with uh, teasing from other kids you know or bullying you know so and the parents can provide a reassurance and the emphasis on the acceptance and loving uh, you know, one's body you know now the next thing is what is the long term outlook well the people who have a naturally short stretcher uh, that's not due to medical condition or disease can expect to lead to normal and healthy lives you know and uh, the children with the 
uh, the short stature and the other hormone related conditions generally reach average height or a similar height to their parents if they receive treatment before the puberty. And for those with the genetic or the skeletal diseases, the short stature will likely be a lifelong issue. You know? Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you very much.